Hi guys, this is Omer from mhot.com and I'm gonna do a first impression to gameplay video for Brawl Busters, a 3D third person MMO shooter slash fighting MMO published by Rock Caper Productions. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around, checking this game out, make some comments. <clears throat> if you guys wanna play uh, Brawl Busters or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on mhot.com on the link below. So let's go ahead and get started right now, guys. You can choose our body shape over here. Now the game itself actually uh, went into open beta on November 3rd, 2011, and again, it is by Rock Caper Productions, the same company behind Microvolts. So let's go and get started right now. I'm leaning towards her or her. I like how she's just rubbing her boobs over there very casually. But you can see our body types over here. I'm pretty sure it makes no impact on actual gameplay. We can always go with the lolly or you can go with this cool dude over here. But we're going to go with her for now. And let's see. You can choose your hairstyles if you want to. And let's see. I'm going to go with the freak out eyes over there. Let's go with actually the first one over here. And she's smiling. And click accept over there. But I'm, I'm curious if you can change these later on. But we can choose our class as well. Now choosing class over here isn't a big deal because more classes will be unlocked as you level up and of course you can change between them later on if you want to classes include slugger firefighter rocker boxer and blitzer so you can see exactly what they do in the role description now i did do a video for this game back in the past during closed beta but now the game is actually out into open beta so anyone can actually play it I am going to play as the rocker. No distinct attributes over there. Pretty much an all-around character. Wide as tag range and fast movement speed. I'm going to go with this for now. And I'm liking the hat too. And let's click start for now. Of course, you can always switch them up later on if you want to as well. I, I'm pretty sure you can switch them in between rounds if I remember correctly. Now, this game actually used to be even called uh, Plan B. So we have a little tutorial over here or something. Intro play, guys. Oh, man. So uh, here we go. We're going to go through that door over there. Skin glow. What is a skin globe over there? We can see the game's graphics are very cartoony, much like Microvolts, actually. Actually, both games have very similar graphics. Uh, at least our look at that building. That is popping over there. All right, I just want to jump over this thing over here. Yes, we just jump over it like that, and you can see. So can we double tap. You can double tap W to move faster as well. So you might as well do this tutorial too. It, it doesn't take very long. I can destroy these things. Yes, the game lets me break up uh, random obstacles to test my movement and my attack speeds over here. And simply left click on your attack will fight things. And I got an item, and you click E to throw it. What bam? I just destroyed everything nearby. And it, oh, I get to kill this thing too. There's a weird fire hydrant. And I, oh, there you go. Just jump over it. And we go into the phone booth, and now we're Doctor Who, it looks like. Nope, we are, are we in the lobby yet? Nope. Defeat your enemies using Shift and AS or D. All right, destroy this wave of zombies. So you're gonna kill these zombies for now. But again, this is a little tutorial to show you the game's ad. Gameplay and basic ad tutorial for the game. It's good that the game does have it because it's not like a standard MMO shooter like Combat Arms. You don't just simply aim an opponent and kill them. You can see all your attacks on the right side. Shift plus W dashes as the double, double tapping W looks like. But Shift plus W is a lot easier. Shift A is evade as well. You jump to left and right, which is actually really good because I didn't actually know that. You can kill this this guy right now. If I right click, oh, right click does your range attack, it looks like. There you go. I can keep spinning my right click as well. And it does a uh, range DPS over there. Look at that. So the, the combat is a bit more mixed up between melee as well as uh, shooting shooting animations. And probably uh, the best game to compare this to is maybe like Rumble Fighter or any other MMO fighting game. Except this is more structured in lobbies very simply. And the actual interface is quite good. You can see a little stats page over there and I have no stats right now. But the game does keep track of your co-op and your verse stats, your wins and losses and your KDR and all that good stuff. And I am 0% right now. Apparently, I don't have any of these unlocked right now. You only get to choose one. In the game's beta, which I played, you can back, you can switch between all of them at will. But it looks like you get to, <coughs> as you level up, you can unlock these later on and switch between them. So you are stuck with that one class for now, which isn't a bad thing because you're better off learning that one class really well than switching between all of them at will and just kind of sucking with all of them. Let's go with uh, my locker. What's going on in here? We got no items, but we can see a package. I'm, I'm really like the game's interface, though. It's actually really sleek and easy to use. And we can see, where's the store? Where is this game's store? You can do some upgrades over there. No upgrades for me. My inventory is quite empty right now. We can see, uh, let's go to multiplayer. For, you can do single player as well, which is good. If you want to learn the game, check out the store too. See what kind of customization stuff is available. But being that the game is an MMO fighting game, you'll see some customization stuff that you'll see in games like uh, Rumble Fighter. Pretty much any MMO out there. Leather Bowler. Oh man, it's a cooler hat than what I have. Purple 5. I want the purple 5, and you can buy them permanently, which is actually really good. So many MMO fighting games, as well as MMO shooters, have weapons that don't last forever, and it's super, super annoying. And uh, strength level is plus 5% over there. They're all plus 5% right now, because they're all level 0. You can upgrade them, it looks like. And they each have slightly different attacks, it looks like, as well, like commission. So each weapon actually matters. They're actually genuinely different, which is good, because it gives the game more variety. And we got, let's see, we got packages, oh man. Weapons, you can see uh, costumes and all this good stuff. Let's see, upgrade. Ooh, costumes for our legs. We got some black tights over there, and again, it doesn't really matter. I guess the, the gear over here is stats as well, and it gives you some defense, and you can upgrade them later on. But you know what, we're going to go towards uh, weapon upgrades, alright? Fuse limbs, what kind of upgrade is that? Anyway, for now, let's go jump into an actual game and click multiplayer. There's ranked matches for hardcore serious games, which what I can do right now. And I'm not sure why the pings are so high. Holy crap, that's one bar? Is it like one red bar? I don't know. 
Team Deathmatch, Brawl Busters action, and let's click ready and start the game right now and see what happens. My name is X Remo because Remo was taken regularly and we adjust for balance. Muso says Remo, he's gonna recognize me. I'm liking his, he's the boxer dude over there. And I like his fro over there too. And wait till the game actually begins. And not sure why it's not starting. We do have a full game, it looks like. Remo, Remo, you're hot. I'm gonna give him I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a little one of these over there, guys. And uh start. Ooh! I guess this guy's not from the US, but you can see the pings over here. So yeah, if you have one bar, it's bad. My ping is down to bad. An unsmooth playing experience is never good. This guy over here is good. He's good to go. But you know what? Let's join an actual... Uh, I, I want to leave this game because the ping is a bit high. Let's, you know, And the game isn't starting yet either. So I'm not sure what we're waiting for. It is six... We have seven players, it looks like. So we should be good to go. But you know what? Uh, I guess I'm going to just go ahead and leave because this game is not starting. And let's click exit and join another game. Seven out of eight. This one's only got one slot left. And let's ready up. And we'll be good to go. Team balance applied. And bam, we are starting. But again, the ping is a bit high. I'm not sure why. I feel like Rocket Book games that will always have a lot of ping, it seems like. Because I know when Microvault first came out, that game had huge ping problems. Like, literally for the first few months of the game's release, I could never find a game with low ping. I'm not sure why. But again, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm going to suck for it. Oh, this guy's running at me. Just simply left click on him for, for the win over here. He's just standing there taking it. Not sure why he's not attacking back. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. I have a wide arc over there. And he's almost dead. Yeah, boy. Rainbow got the kill. And you know what? We got to oh, get killed over there. No, get up and run. Get up and run. I'm getting stun locked. I am perma stun lock over there. Run, run me. Yes, I am running away. But there's actually no. Do I regen? I'm pretty sure I don't regen, but there are items in the game too. So I guess it would make sense if I up oh, to kill this guy over here. And nope, he just one shot me over there. And you can see who kills you very quickly. And he one shot me because I was, I was already a bit weak. And as you die again, you can switch between classes in between rounds. But you do have to unlock these other classes to do so. And still by playing the game, I'm sure you'll be able to unlock them. So let's go kill these blue dudes over there. That guy's stepping over. Let me recognize this guy. Yes. No, he's still too far. Let me kill this interesting guy again. Bam, critical. And let me kill him. He's almost dead. Where'd he go? I'm not even sure where he went, but you know what? He's gone. And you can see the combat in this game is very chaotic because uh, I'm not sure if there's a free-for-all mode. I'm doing team deathmatch right now. And this guy's chasing me. This jerk. I'm going to keep left-clicking on him over there. Nope. He's, where, where, where's this guy going? Where is he going? Catch up to this dude over there. I want to kill him. Yes, go up here. And yeah. No, he's not dead yet. Come on. Where is this guy? He's... Juking me like a boss, apparently. He's going up and down and owning me. Nope, but he just missed me again. And I want to kill this guy. I'm telling you, man. This, where is he going? He keeps going up and down from here. Yes, stand still for a second. Yes, I'm going to get you, bro. I'm going to get you. Yes. I didn't get the kill. What is that? This, well, me and Cascade both got the kill. So the game has assist as well. I got, oh, there's a dude over here who is not on my team. So I should definitely watch out for him. And nope, I missed my right click over there. And right click does a lot of damage as well. It's your range attack. I do believe every class has their own little range attacks. Oh, this dude over there. Yes, I just blew up that guy with my bomb, which is uber damage. Not sure I got that bomb, though. Oh, yes, yes, I got that guy, too. Double kill. Not sure why the game called it a double kill. It's not like I killed two people at the same time. Oh, I got HP recovery. Not sure why I got that. Oh, that guy just did a shockwave thing, which is over there. Yes, keep killing both of these guys. Let me get another kill. One more kill. Three kills. Oh, man, this guy's gonna get away. I'd be so mad. Oh, let me catch him. You know what? I'll just go with this guy. The other guy just got away from me, which is kind of lame. But I'll get a kill off this dude who just got uber stun locked over there. That last guy got away with no HP. But again, the game has good variety because you have those five playable classes. You can switch between them as at will, basically later on. But the combat is definitely a bit different than other fighting games as well. It's super chaotic. I, I would say the best game compared to this to is maybe animation-wise, probably Micro Vault. But gameplay-wise, any other fighting MMO out there, probably Lost Saga. Although Lost Saga is kind of a uh, is kind of like side scrolling ish, even though it's just, I don't know, not, not exactly, but maybe Lost Saga and Rumble Fighter combined with uh, maybe Micro Vault. Yes, I just got that kill over there, multi kill. That was my, I only got like one hit on it. I pretty much cast that over there. I want to kill that dude for now too, and let's keep right clicking on him. Nope. I'm not sure why these guys keep missing me, but uh, of course, dodging. Oh, oh, I kind of attacked that, so yeah, I win, guys. My team is 9 and 2. So my team did quite well this time. I did alright this game. Yeah, you can see my little animation in there for winning. 9 and 2. Thrilling win, right, team, guys? So I guess it tells you how well you won by the little intro with this adjective over here. Thrilling win, how well you won. Doesn't matter. My attack only one star. Then what's up with that? So I was 4, 1, and 16, looks like. And he was 4, 1, and 16 as well. And we'll go ahead and start another game right now. And click start. B, B, G, L. What does that mean? Uh, best Buy, good luck. I don't know. B, what, what is B, B? Bye-bye? Bye-bye, good luck? Who knows? So this guy's using the, the fireman thing. And of course, each of the game's classes have... The, it looks like the Law is a pretty popular, char popular character. But it looks like uh, each of the each of the classes, of course, have their own pros and cons. With, I'm pretty sure they aim to make them all balanced, of course. But uh, I am liking the, the Rockstar over here first. I did play this in the beta, and I liked it the most as well. The Rocker. And it's the most balanced buster, apparently. And each of the classes are called busters. Because the game is called Brawl Busters. Not sure why the game was originally called uh, Plan B. But I, Plan B like closed a long time ago, and it relaunched as Brawl Busters, as I mentioned. And we are playing on the local square over here. And let's see the game beginning. We adjust for balance. And uh, that's good too because the game auto balances based on player skill. Which I guess it measures by your actual level. Which I'm only level 1 still right now. But I'm sure it'll measure maybe by your actual KDR ratios. 
It's gonna make the game more balanced as well, because nobody wants to play a game where it's super one-sided. But luckily, each game in Brawl Busters does not take very long. That last game I played was literally like five minutes long, so each individual round is pretty short. But that's the thing about most of these MMO fighting games, as well as most MMOs. I mean, outside of MOBA games, games like League of Legends, here's a new worth. The average game doesn't take that long, which, which is definitely a good thing. So let's see, the game is still loading. Up oh, here we go, we're doing another Three, team match over here. Two, I do want to see the other game modes one. though, because since let's open beta, well, again. since closed beta, the game's open beta, which is available now, has more game modes, weapons, all that good stuff. So let's see, this is a bigger map for sure. Way bigger map. So let's go aim for Nicene Birch, whatever your name is. I'm gonna right click on you, and nope, I keep missing, go me. Ah, let me kill this guy right now. Ganking for the win, let me kill you, yes. Can I blow it up near you? Yes, I did. So I didn't take any collateral damage, but this guy's gonna go down real soon. He's getting uber stun locked. No, I'm gonna get you, bro. Yes! I got that. I got an assist. Come on. I wanted that kill, man. You got the last thing on me. What a, what a jerk. Take my kill. But you know what? I'll take the assist. It's not bad. It's all teamwork anyway. It comes out to whichever team gets nine kills first. And of course, uh, friendly fire, I believe, is off, which is good. But let's see. Working together is key because when you get somebody stun locked, they die so quickly. Yes, kill those guys. Hit those guys over there. I killed them. Yes, pack. Yes, this guy's stun locked. Both of these guys are stun locked over there, kinda. But these, when they start attacking me, I'm gonna get stun locked. So yeah, it's very quickly the tides can turn in individual little battles over here. But of course, there's a lot of skill involved too, because dodging attacks and you know, replying to the enemy with your attacks is of course important too. I would say it's it's probably not as nearly as uh, skill based as maybe guns, but I feel like the combat, individual combat one on one, definitely takes a lot of skill because you do the dodger attacks. When you start comboing them, they get stun locked forever, and it's super annoying. This guy just keeps running from us. What a jerk! I want to right click on him in a second, but no. Where is he going? He's still running. Right click. Nope. Missed my right click over there too. And I'm gonna catch up to this guy. No, nope. keep missing my. Oh, this guy hit by the train. And yes, let's get a kill. Let me get the last hit. Oh man, another assist. Come on, I did get a free combo. This jerk is killing me. Nope. Let me kill you. Don't die me. Yes. Is he gonna go with that? They get the kill. Yes, I did get the kill. First kill that time. I am down to 56% HP. Looks like or just 56. Oh, I got hit by a train for uber damage. So let's uh, let's go chillax back over here. Anybody chasing me? Uh, looks like nobody's chasing me right now. And let's go pick up. Uh, let's go in the phone booth. What's in the phone booth, guys? I clicked E and it teleported me. It looks like I got defense up. It looks like which is I guess worth using. So let's go and kill this dude over here. Yes, guys, comboing is super important. Just get the guys stun locked and they're gonna get owned. I guess like the train. I'm not sure why that train goes back and forth over here, but it does do a lot of damage. And I am down to uh, one health left. I'm gonna be a total jerk and run away, and this guy's still chasing me. I'm gonna try running away and finding a healing item because oh, I wanna go in here. I wanna go. This is like a healing booth, it looks like. Oh, this guy's gonna chase me and kill me, so yeah, I did die though. So I probably should have kept running away. Because by dying, I gave the enemy a kill, and they are closer to victory. Because whichever team gets the nine kills first, or whoever is doing the best on that two minute runs out, the game is over. This guy's gonna get uber ganked over here. Yes, keep left clicking on you. You're gonna get you stun locked over there. You're gonna go down. And I am liking the fact that I have an uber wide arc for my attack range. My, oh, let's kill this guy over here. Nope, he's still not dead. Where is he going? Jumping around everywhere. Yes, one more hit, you're dead. Assist again, guys. Come on, I want some kills, not some assists. You know what? Assist help again, either way. I'm going for the team over here. Kill this guy from behind, and whoa, he went through the ground over there. But I guess the ping did show us high in the lobby screen, but it doesn't seem like to be a big deal. Combat, though, is definitely fun, and uh, it's a game I would say worth checking out if you did like playing Micro Vaults or any fighting MMO out there. Because, again, it is a little bit different as well. You have the five playable classes, which are, pl which are switchable at any time. Let's kill this guy right now. But again, I'm not sure what it takes to unlock those classes right now. But simply by playing games, you'll get monies, which you can use in the game store. I am in danger again. Keep running away. Until my team gets their last kill over there, I'm gonna keep running because I do not want to die. I'm at 27%, which is not awful. And this jerk is chasing me. I'm gonna try dodging him like that and wait till this guy helps. So 2v1, we can kill this guy pretty quickly. And he's running away now. He doesn't want to fight 2v1. That scrub running away. Oh, well, I'm gonna go. I, I think I'm gonna go for a kill somewhere. Who's getting attacked? I can join in on the gang. Let's go kill that guy. He's so weak. I want to kill you. Yes. Oh, I hit that thing by accident to kill you. No, let me kill you for the kill. One right click and you're dead, man. Yes. I got the last hit, guys. Look at that. I just ran around the map looking for somebody weak to kill, and bam, I got it. Animations in the game are good, but let's see. A thrilling win, red team. Only problem I'm seeing right now is probably the lag. The game did say it was high ping, which might be why the combat feels a little bit off right now. But since open beta, the game has added new new game modes as well as weapons, which is always good. Let's click exit for now. I want to see how many maps are available in the game. So let's go and click create our own room. We are playing on the Rookie EU server. Why am I in the EU server? We got Glow Rush, Zombie Survival, which I think Zombie Survival is PVE. It's always good to have PVE game mode if you want to play against with your with your friends against AI components, AI opponents, and click cancel over there. So there's only a handful of uh, game modes. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click create over here. Let's see the game. Let's see what maps are available. We got a uh, random local square, Sunset Street. I'm gonna click. Uh, we got Brawl Factory, Pinball Avenue, Triple Adventure, and Rumble Factory. I do suspect they'll be adding more game modes later on. And let's click on Rookie EU. And there's a whole bunch of Rookie US are much better. The pings over here are so much better. Why was I on the wrong server? 
And the game is fairly popular right now. There are people playing it. I do remember the game was fairly popular when it was called Plan B. But I'm not sure why Plan B shut down. It took like a year for Brawl Busters to actually launch. But yeah, it looks like this is the official uh, EU as well as the US version of the game. Elite US. There are a lot of channels too over here, which is good. So yeah, if you play on the, you can play on the EU servers if you're in the EU or the US servers if you're in the US. I'm going to play round triple adventure. I'll try this game mode. But you know, guys, actually, I'm over my 15 minute marks. So I'm going to call it for now. If you guys do want to play Brawl Busters or learn more about it, go check out the full review on mlot.com on the link below. I want to see the leaderboards, guys. Let's get out of here. I want to see. No, I can't go there right now. It looks like my stats over there. You can see my my uh, zero wins. Come on, I want a game. I got two medals. Go me. But anyway, guys, if you guys do want to play Brawl Busters or just learn more about it, go check out the full review on mlot.com on the link below. Anyway, guys, later.